Hello, this is you there. I am Dr. Dusselot, and I'm going to teach you how to play Pekitech. Now, hmm, Pekitech has been on for generations back in China when they played with severed heads. And now we play with sacks full of sand and beads. Now, okay, see the key to heavy deck is to keep it up. <laughs> to keep it up, you can do three basic hits. Inside hits, front flicks, and outside hits. Now the key to a successful inside hit is to keep your foot flat. Flat. Not crooked. Flat. Because then it hits well. If not, Look at that! Look at that! Now, now that we have mastered, well not really, but mastered <laughs> our insides, we need to go to outsides. Once again, the key is to keep your horse flat! Flat! Now, if you can't do this, you will not be able to do outsides. It's hard to keep balance. Just let me know. Anyways! To do successful outsides like this. Now immediately you will not be able to do consecutive hits on the outside because I am Jesus. Now I recommend mastering inside before going to outside because then you will have a base of control and you can just sneak in and outside every once in a while. Now we are going to go on to flicks. Now, flicks are hard at first. They are very hard. You need to keep your foot nice and loose. Loosey goosey. Nice and loose. Not stiff. Doesn't work. Loosey and goosey. Okay, now, what you're going to do is just basically just move your foot like a pendulum, but not a mattress, and just flick your foot at the end. Just da -da -da. Okay? Me. No, let's see it in action. See, bad. Now that all your hits are equally represented, it's time to move on to our... What's this? What's it called? What's this? This is called a star. Now a stall happens when the sack momentarily stops or stalls on your foot and so now there's many types of stalls including front stall, inside stall and outside stalls but the easiest being is a neck stall and to create a successful neck stall one just dips down put their chin up and shoulders back now this creates a little crevice in the back of your neck. So that which the sack can stall. Back there. Okay. Now we are going to sidetrack for a moment because in order to be not become a noob. You do not want to be a noob. You to pick up the sack, you're not gonna lean over and be like, oh I'll get this for you. Here I got it. No! Once it's on the ground, what you're going to do is you put your foot right behind it, put, place your other foot right in front, and simply slide it onto your foot. Kaboosh! Kaboosh! Now back to the other stalls. Mm. Now, to do a fractional star, the key is to point your toe up. Like so, not down. Obviously this would not work. Once your toe is bonded up, you're going to bend your knee. Bend your knee at a slight angle. Not a big angle, a little angle. Okay, now, once your knee is bent and your toe is up, you're simply going to cushion the sack when it falls by simply just kind of squatting a little bit. You ever do squat thrust? Mm. Mm. Kind of like that. But instead of squatting, you are going to just drop your foot and slightly bend your left knee. As so. Oh, 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 there it is. A successful frontal stall. 
Now the only thing you need to know for inside stores and outside stores is flat feet. Not like in dancing, you know, no flat feet in dancing, but in happy attack. Yeah! Flat feet. Yeah! Yes. And that, my friends, is the basics of Hacky Sack. Now you can join me, Dr. Duzelot, in my next video to learn complicated tricks that actually aren't that complicated. I will teach you step by step and join me next time. Dr. Duzelot.